Canadian Blood Services has issued an urgent call for blood donations by the end of this week. Unusual weather and flooding is preventing clinics from restocking the national level to what's needed. Now, as spring approaches, they're asking for 10,000 more donations. Joining me this morning are two people who would not be alive today without the help of blood donors. Celia Misios, who suffered a car accident in 2006, and Ari Denali, who was diagnosed with a rare bone marrow disease in 2015. Ari's mother, Jenny, joins us as well. Thank you to the three of you for being here. Uh, Celia, let's, let's start with you. Can take us back to 2006 and walk us through the accident that really changed your life. Um, I was going to a friend's home to meet for, with other friends for a birthday celebration. And I was crossing the street at um, Eglinton and Brent Cliff. A car didn't see me there. And I was forever changed at that moment. I have no recollection of the actual accident. Everything I regurgitate is what people have sure. said to me. How long were you in the hospital? Um, I entered October 28th um, at Sunnybrook Trauma Unit. And then I was transferred to St. John's Rehab. I was home end of January, beginning of February 2007. How much blood did you need for, for them to save your life? Um, I've been told that they stopped counting at 54 units of blood. And 54 units is equivalent to 50 pe 54 people donating? Correct. Wow. And then um, I went septic after that. Really? So that would have been more blood Even again. more. That, so, but, so essentially, <laughs> there was, there's no scenario in which you recover without all of that blood. Absolutely. Zero. You Absolutely. are not sitting here today. No. Uh, Jenny, let's, let's talk about Ari. Uh, Ari, welcome. Nice to see you, man. Um, so he was diagnosed with something called aplastic anemia yes. in 2015. Correct. So what is that? And talk to me about that discovery and what it did for you as a family. Um, November 2015, Ari started to, you know, experience excessive gum bleeds. Took him to his dentist and she looked at him saying, something doesn't look right. You take him straight down to Sick Kids Emerge. Um, blood work done, comes back, and you need, he needs a transfusion of blood. You know, healthy child, not knowing what it was. And it was the first of nearly 100. 100? Yes, nearly 100. Um, it's basically his, bod his body's failing to produce the blood cells for him to function and to live. So, so, so you were, so Ari, what was it like for you? Uh, what, like, what was a routine like for you? How, how do you incorporate going to the hospital and getting transfusions into the life of being a little boy? Um, well, it was hard at first, but um, as I started to like adapt to it and realize that this is my life now, I have to live like this. Um, I had I adapt to it over over some time. Mm -hmm. And I just, I went to like half kind of being back to normal, mm -hmm. but then half I still have precautions of like what I do. Sort of like a new normal for yeah. you. And is there anything you'd want to say to the people? I mean, there's over 100 people, 100 people who, who donated blood that went into you that saved your life. What would you want to say to those people? That to like start donating more because there's more people like me that actually need the blood and if you, they, it can basically give them another chance to live, and yeah. Yeah, that's, no, but that's, a, that's a, a great thing. You know, some people, I don't know, I don't know whether it's people think that they, it's too hard to donate. Um, it, it, Canadian Blood Services has said that we have a real vital need right now. What are your thoughts on this sort of this dearth of blood and why <laughs> we need more? We need more because it's in us to give, first of all. And, uh, it's, it gives people back, um, a, you know, a, a child. It gives people back their friends, their loved ones, and it makes a difference on the community. I think one of the misconceptions that people have been is that um, if their loved one needs blood, that they can just go in and roll up their sleeve and donate. Yeah. It doesn't work that way, as my sister and my brother both discovered when Sunny Brooke was saying, you know, I think we're going to run out of blood. They're like, well. We'll roll up our sleeves, you know, like we'll, we'll give blood to them uh, for her. And they said, it doesn't work that way. Your life can change in an instant. Your exactly. loved ones can change in an instant. And now is the time to donate. It's, it's a very small percentage of all the people that can donate blood that actually donate. And uh, Jenny, you know, let's look at it from the position of a mother. Your son uh, right now in remission, doing great. Uh, that might not always be the case. No. This is, this is an avenue that, that helps him. Um, the worry that you must go through 
the stress that you must have been going through, uh, it, to me, as a father, is something I don't even want to uh, try to get to. Uh, so when you hear that, that we need more blood, what do you want to say to the country? You must want to scream. Um, I think it's a fraction of your time, an hour, an hour mm -hmm. and a half, is a, a lifetime for patients like Ari and Facilia, for families like ours. And sorry, I get you know, emotional because yeah. it's, it's, it's ever-changing. And he's here today to share his story mm -hmm. because of the donors. And um, you know, we're thankful, we're grateful, but we need to continue. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing your stories. Ari, uh, if you want, I can write you a note to get you out of school today. I'm a TV <laughs> host. I know that that is a legally binding document. Thank you very much for being here, both of you, all thank three you. of you. Thank all right. And uh, with the urgent need for donors, we asked Canadian Blood Services if they were reconsidering the one-year deferral period for men who have sex with men. They told us they are looking into it right now. And they, can, they say people can visit blood.ca for more information on eligibility and how you can donate as well.